Hey everyone, David Martinez here. I was originally going to make the video today and talk about content modeling. Um, if you want to hear a little bit more about my thoughts on that and um, how I applied it to a recent project, I'd love to know so I can make you a video on it. But I thought what would be more basic and fundamental today would be to talk about creating content for the users. So I'm working on one project now. Um, it's an overseas client uh, in the apparel industry and they have some innovative patented um, products. And I asked for an origin story about how they came up with some of the products. And one of the most interesting things that happened for me was they gave me some content. English is not their first language, so I'm, I'm going to rewrite a lot of their content for them. So I do do a lot of um, copywriting, um, making things clear and consumable, you know, short, uh, very web friendly. But that being said, a lot of the content that they wrote revolved around features. Um, scientific patents and things that they did um, accomplishments that were specific to the company things that made them great in their own eyes and for a really good origin story um, you really want to almost think about how Shark Tank works and how people scratch their own itch you know in terms of investors or in terms of product to market fit uh, you want to have a story that's immediately consumable relatable and uh, provides a form of chemistry for the user so they can associate themselves uh, with you or your brand or your product. The moment you can bridge that gap, um, then you've just elevated the user to a much higher place in terms of making a transaction with you online. So my tip for the day is when you're writing copy and when it comes to content specifically and content strategy, you want to write stuff that is very easy to consume and solves the user's problems. When the user is looking at you or your product or service, they've already got something they're trying to solve. Now, if you're doing your advertising correctly or your organic article publishing correctly, they're going to stumble upon your content. So what you want to make sure you do is once you've profiled the user and you've identified their problems, you want to write your copy in a way that addresses their main concerns and solves their problem. It sounds so simple and it sounds so obvious, um, but it's fascinating how I'll get blurbs and copy from other companies and um, you could see why they wrote it from their, through the lens of their own eyes, from starting a company and everything they went through and all the challenges they had and where they are now and where they want to be. A lot of times companies will totally project where they want to be, which is normal. Um, but you really got to write that copy in a way that informs the user that you're immediately solving the problem um, that's on their mind or the fix that they're looking for. Or they might not know what the fix is, but you want to say that you're intimate with the problem and here's how you fixed it. You know, and here's five other benefits, which makes your fix amazing. Um, if you want to do the inverted triangle technique, you can have an even bigger claim as to who you are um, as a company in terms of goals and a mission, you know, mission statement, so to speak. But um, when you get down to the nitty gritty, you got to be speaking to them about the problem they're trying to solve. Um, until you get to the point where you're a Nike or an Apple and you can really push the mission type content front and center. Um, I suspect and I recommend if you're a smaller unknown company you really got to solve people's problems first and then let them know who you are when you get to the Nike Apple Microsoft type levels Google then you can lead with mission and offer product lines b below that but in terms of introducing yourself um, and your company or your product as something that could help someone solve their own personal problems um, you really got to talk to them in their language about what they're trying to solve so that's my tip for the day. Uh, write good web copy that's clear, concise, and speaks to the user's problem. If you want to see um, a video on how I applied some content modeling to a project, um, just got to get the client's permission for this one, but uh, they came out pretty neat. I did some neat stuff um, using Adobe XD, and which is my current tool of choice. I'm trying to use it more and more. Um, I already paid for the Adobe suite, and I'm very familiar with Sketch 
in terms of doing UI and UX work. So for the last couple of months, I've been using Adobe XD and been really happy with uh, the amount of progress the XD has made itself just within the short time I've been using it. They seem to be updating it pretty frequently. So that's my tip for the day. Take care.